In this video, Aubrey, let's address this particular topic about preparing for an overseas adventure. Many people, when they think about travel, they often forget certain vital mm -hmm. steps or parts of that preparation. And what would you consider would be some things that people can do to make their trip a successful one? Yeah. So I think one thing that I have like a more unique perspective on is like, if you want to travel with your pets, you have to plan very far ahead. Like there are some countries where it takes months to get approved to bring your pet in. Okay. I think Japan is six months. Oh, I, wow. I'm not 100% sure, but yeah, if you want to bring your pet, don't expect to just be able to get up and go. Okay. So that's a big one. Also for someone like me, I have food allergies. So one thing I've thought of is like making laminated cards with a list of things I can't eat in the native language. Oh, so you that's can be a really like, good point. Yeah. It's like, Hey, here's a list of things I can't eat. Please help me because <laughs> I will get very sick. Yeah, that's really important. So you've talked about pets. You've talked mm -hmm. about food. I also think about just some basic expressions mm -hmm. of uh, I don't understand. Uh, where is the bathroom? Mm -hmm. uh, do you speak English or whatever language? And making sure you keep like a card or perhaps you can use an app on your phone yeah. to help with that translation process. Oh, another thing is outlets. Oh, you, good point. You're going to want to get adapters because they're different in different countries. Okay. That, I think that's really good. And I also think it's important to collect some information about the local culture, mm -hmm. not from your uncle Bob who spent <laughs> two weeks over in that particular country, but getting a broader perspective on how people think, mm -hmm. what people believe, what is important to them. Uh, maybe something about the religious and political systems in mm -hmm. case those type of conversations it come up in a general way, I think could be really vital as well. Yeah, that's a good point. Like um, with tipping culture is one example, like in the United States, you tip, right? Or else you're extremely rude right? Uh, because servers aren't paid very much. But there are other countries where if you tip them, that is rude. And I think that's really important, uh, I think, to man and understand, for example, how restaurants work, how mm -hmm. businesses work, public transportation systems and how they function, I think, are all vital keys. And just simple ideas about getting your passport, any visa, mm -hmm. making sure that you have all of those documents when you go are vital as well. Well, thank you, Aubrey, for sharing some of the tips on preparing for an overseas trip.